y'all it's crafty hope here and welcome to another art journal video from me i'm working in this little junk journal i made as part of the robin murray smith transitions journal workshop it was a workshop she uh, created at the beginning of the pandemic um, it's free I will put a link to her classes below and hopefully you can find it like I said it's called the transitions journal all right so in it I had two pages on this spread and I didn't like the one on the left so y'all you see I just covered it up with <laughs> a piece of I think that's actually some rust dyed paper there and I'm just having trouble getting it stuck there in the middle. So I decided to bring in a little bit of, this is tissue paper that's got like a gold flake on it. And I'm going to use matte gel medium to stick it down. Because when you use a gel medium or a, a, a matte medium, I don't know how, you know, whether it's fluid or gel or whatever, it tends to make tissue paper just kind of disappear and whatever the design is kind of appears in the like clear white areas. So it's basically just like sticking down a bunch of gold flakes. So I stuck, like I said, those down with the gel medium, just to add a little something to this background. And then let's see, I'm going to dry this real quick. I think just to get that sticky off. And so I could keep moving on. All right, I grabbed a Stabilo Woody in this like lime green color. Y'all, I didn't know what I wanted to do when I did this. I had no plan going in other than let's do 20 minutes of art journal. And yeah, y'all, this was a really fast one for me. I can't even believe it. So like I said, I just wanted to get in and play and scribble and paint. And that's exactly what it happens with this one. So I put some circles down in that lime green and I activated them with just a wet paintbrush. And then I grabbed this Liquitex acrylic ink. Oh, and y'all, I don't know the color. It's a purple. Um, it's probably some kind of violet. I'll put it below um, with a link so you can find it. But I, you see, I just put a couple drops, wet it with my distress sprayer, and then let it drip a little bit. And so, and I didn't like the lines from where I let it drip, which is crazy because, you know, I did it on purpose. So I'm going to blur that out with just, this is a slightly damp uh, paper towel. So I just blurred some of those lines out a little bit and dried it. And I'm coming in with a black pen. This is a rollerball pen from the Dollar Tree. I, I love this pen. The ink is really juicy and dark and it will activate with water. So it'll kind of blur when you add water. So um, I dried the ink a little bit, but mostly there was a spot that was still damp from the ink. And then, yeah, I wanted to see if after I dried it, if that ink would still blur a little and it did so I took my distress sprayer again and sprayed just on top of that ink and let it kind of blur and y'all that writing doesn't really say anything important I was it's kind of an acemic writing it's just yeah it, it was words but it was just nonsense really <laughs> and then I decided I needed some blue there was a little bit it was super pale blue over on that right side of the page you can't really see it I could see it and I decided, yeah, I need some more blue. Um, blue and purple and lime green are like my favorite colors when it comes to like actual colors. So yeah, I added that sea breeze from Americana in there. And at this point I was like, let's find a focal. So right on the top of my little pencil box of focals with this picture of this girl, apparently her name's Donna, because she signed the back of it. The back says, all my love, Donna, because I decided to rip the bottom of that. And when I ripped it, that's exactly the part that I ripped um, off. So I decided that would be also my sentiment. The frame of it was bothering me a little and I didn't want to rip all the way around for some reason. So I tried accenting it with some gold X's and then circling those and I just wasn't digging it. And so I decided Donna needed to be accented with some fabric somehow. So I started pulling out just some fabric scraps and I had these from when I had made some circles for something else. And looked at that and kind of liked it but decided I needed more. 
So I'm actually pulling out this piece of, y'all, I don't even know what this fabric is. It's possibly an old bed sheet or tablecloth or I don't know. I'd used it to mop up paint and stuff like that. So I've, um, I just tore off a little piece and I'm cutting this oval out and it fits over Donna's face perfectly except for, yeah, it's a little long. So I tore that down. I'm still not liking those little X's over on the side. So I'm going to tear those off real quick. And there's still like a smattering of one there, which I thought that's fine. Whatever. So I'm going to move Donna around a little bit, move the little cinnamon around, decide, yep, that's going to work. And I'll take my Uhu glue stick. Oh, actually, no, I decided I needed something dark. So this is where things kind of take a turn. I wasn't planning on this at all, but I needed, I needed some big black circles on the page. There was, I was just absolutely compelled that I needed black circles on this page. I've grabbed my um, water-based Sharpie in black, and I'm making circles over on the right side, and because I'm all about fairness, I've got to make some over on the left side, too. So, I'm gonna do these little circles, but then I felt like they were too stark themselves, and I wanted to add some accent inside of them, and just couldn't think. At first, I thought I was just going to put little dots inside of them, but that just felt like I wasn't going to get that quite right. So I grab that that gold metallic marker that y'all that's from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to put X's inside each of these circles. And it kind of works out that it's like X's and O's, like hugs and kisses. Like you know, she may have signed it, "All my love, Donna." So yeah. And then to kind of take away the stark lines of the circle, I'm going around them with a white Stabilo, not Stabilo, Signo. It's a Uniball Signo white gel pen. And that just kind of doesn't make the, the edges of those circles feel so harsh. And now I'm going to glue everything down with my Uhu glue stick. And y'all, that really is going to be it for this page. It was a super fast um, throw in a thing, everything at it, um, going with my instinct page. And it, I think it worked. Um, what do you think? Let me know. Um, if you like this, make sure to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I, um, I would really appreciate that. And I do appreciate you coming by and taking the time to watch. Thanks, y'all. Bye.